I'm often asked how you can turn a PowerPoint into a PDF so you can use it for handouts. And I'm going to show you this on the PC, the Windows version 2010 and 2013, got both of those here, and also on a Mac as well. So I'm here on 2010, I just want to show you the differences. Two ways you can do this. If I go into File at the top here and choose Save and Send, you'll see here there are two versions. Create Adobe PDF and Create PDF for XPS Documents. If I choose the Create Adobe PDF and click on Create Adobe PDF there, first it gives me the file name and I have some options here. So if I click on the options, you can see it gives me things like Convert Multimedia, Preserve Slide Transitions and so on. And I could include the Speaker's Notes, which is something that comes up. I can choose which slide as well, but it's not giving me the option to turn it into a handout. These are just going to do full page slides. So I could click on OK and I could click on Save and it would create that PDF for me. I'm just going to click on Cancel because the other option, the Create PDF XPS document, if I click on this button here, will now give me more options. And if I click on those options just here, You'll see I can now choose which slide, or I can choose slides from one to a particular number, or from two to three, whatever I like. But the thing that a lot of people are interested in, this will give you a page per slide. However, you can also do handouts, and then you can tell it how many slides you want per page. So you could say four, and you could have it vertical, and you can see it showing it to you just here. So if I click on vertical, you can see it goes one, two, three, four, or if I did it horizontal, it goes one, two, three, four. So it goes across and then down, vertical goes down and then across. Completely up to you. You can also include frame slides, hidden slides, and you could include comments as well if you have comments and any ink markup in there. I do like having the frames around it sometimes, so that can actually be very handy. So when I click on OK now, I'm going to go back to all of mine in my uh, range at the top. It could just be one slide that you want. Some people actually like going for six on a page. And when you click on OK, it will now save it with those options, which is really nice. So just click on Publish, and away it goes. And you can now see that here. If I just resize it, I now have my slides here in a PDF handout. So how is it different on 2013? Well, if I go to 2013, you can see this is slightly different. If I go to File, it's now called Export down here. And if I click on Export, you'll see that the options are the same. A little less clicking, a lot tidied up here. So Create PDF, Adobe PDF at the top, and that gives you the one without the options for the slides. So if I click on OK and Options, you see that it's the same and I can just click on whatever I like there. So the options are exactly the same. If I wanted to do the one where I could change the handouts as well and go to options, I just choose the next one down just like I did before. So that is how you do it here. So once again, it's export here on 2013 and you've got the create Adobe PDF and create PDF XPS document right there. So how do you do it on a Mac? So here I am on a Mac, and the way that I do it here is I go to File, I choose Print, and on a Mac, PDFs are built into pretty much any application when you go to Print, and so this works very similarly on all of them. However, here you can choose which slides you want. So I'm going to say all of my slides. You can have selected slides if you'd selected some where you could choose the range of slides. And just like on the PC, I can choose which handouts, except here it has default settings. So if I want six slides per page, I choose that one. I can choose as well that I've only got one option here, which is all the slides, because that's what I've got selected. And also I can change the color. I can change it to grayscale, which is like monochrome. And also I can do black and white. And here, I can scale to fit the paper and uh, have some frame slides as well. So slightly different. 
I can then just go down to the bottom here to this drop down box in the left hand corner where it says PDF. Click on that, choose save as PDF. It then takes me to the save dialog box where I can choose my folder and then I can just simply click on save and that will now create a PDF for me. So that is how you can create PDFs from PowerPoints in both Windows and on a Mac.